first things you'll want to do so that this can be sitting in the toilet. Um, and this is a good one too. This is one of the best ones we found, the Lysol Lime and Rust Remover. Um, they go fast because it, it works really good, but this is a good one, it smells good, and uh, it actually works really well. But you don't need a whole lot when you're doing this in the toilet. Can you bring the camera over here so you can just see how quickly and how much actually is needed to do this? All you're gonna do is you're just gonna go like that. That's all you need, like that. Piece of cake. And then while that's sitting in there, you can go on and do your mirror, do your sinks, um, do your urinals. And then this will be sitting here waiting for you when you come back. But since we're here, let's go ahead and clean this toilet. Um, I've already sprayed it down. I've already sprayed it down once. So now I'm gonna just spray it down a second time, turning this inside out, because I do not want to cross contaminate. Get rid of the hairs that we don't want. Go ahead and wipe it down. Make sure you're wiping the, the handle, which has already been disinfected because we've let the disinfectant air dry on there. Basically just wiping it down. In some cases, the chemical just does the work. Okay, when you're doing a, a toilet, you do not want to stop right here. There is more to the toilet, which gets really nasty if you don't hit it. So we come all the way down, all the way back, making sure that we're hitting every nook and cranny there. Hit the bowl, make sure you're hitting the, the cracks of the bowl because actually urine does drip down into this crack. That's really gross. It's actually even hard for me just to even talk about it. <laughs> um, so basically you're just making sure that every inch of the toilet is hit because you want it to shine. You know, you want people to feel comfortable to come in here and unfortunately use it. One of the things that I do like to make sure that I hit too, can you bring the camera over here? These items right here. This is a very highly neglected area and it's- um, Supply lines and it, shut off It's out. a supply line shut off out. Sometimes they come out of the floor, sometimes they're out of the wall, but they get dust on them either way. So make sure you hit them because otherwise your customer will notice it and they will mention it or they'll just get rid of you before they even mention it to you. Okay, now that I've done the outside, I like to go ahead and do the inside. Typically the brush likes to leak inside the, the cup, so I dump, it, dump everything out. Then basically all you gotta do is just scrub it in there, making sure you're getting rid of all nasty looking stuff. And your blue has already coated the whole thing, so you're just basically scrubbing all the blues to make sure that it's gone and make sure that you get up underneath here real quick. Take it down under inside like that. Shake it off. Some customer, some of our customers like us to actually leave the blue water in there because it leaves a nice smell and it lets them know that we've been here. But uh, I, like to, I like to flush it because sometimes that, that can be a nasty looking color. 